This is HG, the god HG is to the streets. And right now what we're about to do is do like a quick little segment of what's to come with Crush Millie. Crush Milliano. Crush Milliano. Yeah, but I like well. when you say Millie. Yeah, you know Crush Millie. We both relocated to Atlanta. We've officially made an alliance to basically take over Atlanta and the whole industry. So we're gonna be uh, coming out with some new music. We're gonna be coming out with some more content so far as interviews. She's actually wearing some of her beautiful robes that she will soon have available online. I just came in, she's working on her website. It looks very nice, it looks very professional, and it looks very sexy. Ooh, so, thank you. you know, I'm gonna I'm a build her later for this plug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My invoice coming Don't late on that. this plug, you know what I'm saying? But it's to the streets, we definitely gonna do a podcast uh, interview with you, you know, and, and life and times of Millie coming from what, Harlem in the Bronx or Brooklyn? Harlem, Bronx, Brooklyn, all of that. Okay, so the Shot Town Don in the Harlem, Brooklyn, you got a, you got a what? What? Yeah. Goddess? You gonna put Goddess on it? What you, what you wanna mm. put on there? Well, you when, you when you come up with your title, just uh, crush shit. I don't know. Just M Millie shit. We yeah, on that Millie, Millie shit. Yeah, we on that Millie so shit. So that's what it is, man. Yeah. Shot Town to New York to Atlanta to worldwide. We got some great things coming, y'all. So stay tuned. Let's do a little quick, look, give them a quick preview. So, one, so, what inspired you to come up with these fabulous, gorgeous, sexy robes? Well, you know, I'm not a fashion designer, so for one, but I can get into it. But um, it was Rihanna. Oh yeah, Rihanna, yeah. Riri. Okay, Riri. It was Rihanna. Like I um did a video on my YouTube with Savage Frenzy stuff mm -hmm. that I paid with my own money. Okay. And <laughs> let me know. Let me know. At me though, you know what I'm saying? You need a curvy, yeah, you need a curvy uh model. Holla at me though. There you go. But um with my own money bought it and then I was like, hmm, let me see how this is gonna look. And I got those robes. Okay. Okay. And I was just like Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, it feels so good. I was like, it's, you know, because sometimes when you're a big girl, when you're plus size, mm -hmm. it's hard when you get clothes. It's like uh, things don't fit you how you might think. Like, it could say 2X. That should be like an extra small. You be like, what right. the fuck? This should say 2X. Right, right, right. I feel you. I feel you. So yeah. when I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, it really fits. Okay. And I <laughs> said, about, like, you got to go to the YouTube video. Like, I was like, Okay, matter of fact, what's your YouTube so the people will know about it? You know what I'm saying? Let's put them up on game. Crush Milliana, K R U S H M I L L I O N A. Boom, there you so, go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably put the link or whatever. But, um, Most definitely do that. Most definitely do that. That's when I fell in love with robes. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay. That's yes, my saying. first two robes from Savage Fenty. I was like, Damn, I need a robe collection. Like, this okay. is fire. Okay. Like, okay. I could wear this shit all day. You see, right, I could wear right. this shit from all day. I ain't going nowhere. It's raining outside. Like, fuck that. Right. This is what the fuck I had on. Well, you definitely. Taking pictures and shit. You, you know what I'm saying? You definitely look nice in it. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. Um, very, very sexy, but still classy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all, she got some nice um, different pieces over here. We're not going to reveal them. Yeah, yeah we get to see I got that one. coming soon. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But I'm you get a preview of this deal. one. It's very dope, very sexy. Um, you know, so yeah, man, you know, make sure when the website um, get finished, make sure y'all support her. Um, black entrepreneurs taking their destiny into their own hands, becoming their own bosses. You know what I'm saying? Black men and black women working together mm -hmm. cohesively to um you know achieve success and achieve our dreams and you know what i'm saying you know you fucking with ears to the streets you know what i'm saying we own it like that you know what i'm saying so you know what it is shout out to ears to the streets you already know she got her own robes i got my own t-shirts i got my own hats and we got a lot of other things coming so yeah i'm gonna have to give me some ears to the streets uh, t-shirts no stuff. doubt no doubt whenever you ready you know what but, i'm saying um, I, I, I love that name i always love that so. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, we definitely uh, pride ourselves on. But that was a great question. Oh yeah, no problem. You gonna get a lot more. We do the, 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 the podcast. I'm so make scared, sure. man. You know what I mean? I 
got you. It's all good. But yeah, we're gonna have that a lot of fun. That's a great question. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if you could ask me one more question before we go, what would it be? Mm. What made um what made you decide to leave your home city, mm. New York City, and come to Atlanta? What was the motivation behind that? Um, black entrepreneurs. <laughs> YouTube. There you go. Like it basically was for me. It was more so like networking. Okay. Just, okay. You yeah. know, realizing and knowing that a lot of people out here want to have their own business or they have their mm -hmm. own business. Mm -hmm. So that kind of inspired me. It was like, hmm. And then I never saw myself actually living anywhere else. Okay. For some reason, I mean, I always loved Florida because it's hot. And mind you, I lived in Africa for three years, so I could wow. deal with the heat. So I always, I looked at Florida, but I don't like hurricanes. I don't like tornadoes. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? So that always scared me from certain parts of the world. Right. And I was like, Georgia don't really have that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to Georgia. Right. Like, Georgia? Yeah, for yeah. real. Like, that was like the only place that I ever thought like, oh my gosh, I would go live. Okay. So there you have it. Um, you know, Atlanta is definitely cracking uh, when it comes to um, entrepreneurship, um, black businesses, networking. You know, we got Tyler Perry Studios. Why you look short? I'm sitting down. I know. <laughs> oh my God. Because yeah, they be like, yo, he looks nice. All right, all right, right. Now I'm sitting down, y'all. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, Atlanta is definitely a, a, a place that I came to to definitely get it cracking. So we doing plays, we doing movies, you know what I'm saying? We got our own clothes. Yeah, you was just in something too. What was, yeah. can, you, can you say the name or you can't? Um, I was just in the play called When Dance Meets Music. Okay. Um, I got in a, um, some work I did on a film called Home that's going to be coming out uh, pretty soon, hopefully. You know, it's based off the, the, mm -hmm. the you know, the, the person who made the movie whenever right, he dropped it. Right, but he said right, it's coming soon. There's I, no date on it, but, you know, he said it's coming soon. I worked on shit and it never came out. <laughs> it came, so that's, that's a possibility. Right, right. Like, that's the thing you deal with with the right, industry. Right. Them long days that you spent on set. Right. Shit, might never fucking come out. Right, right. Well, hopefully it come out. Hopefully it yeah. come out because I want to see it. Yeah, most definitely. Because I know you'll be a great actor. Oh yeah, we've been doing my thing, been doing so. my thing. Yeah. So um, I did some work on BT, right. um, the series Tales. So I'm just gonna say that because you know you right, can't right, say right, too right, much. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Um. So yeah, man, we out here. We be shaking and begging. You know what I'm mean? saying? High five. I love you know it. Man? I love it. Yes, I fucking love it. You know so. What I'm saying? I think we, what you, well, we, we Atlanta popping. We in Atlanta, so it's extra popping. We got the uh, the New York Millie up in here. We got the Shot Town, Town. Yeah. God, God up in this piece. Watch um, and another thing I want to say is this too. This is on a serious note. This has nothing to do with me because I'm out of most of these guys' age range. But um, man, let's let's work out our differences amongst these different states. You know what I'm saying? And let's get money. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. That's all I need to say on that. So is to the streets, crush Miliana. Man, that's what it is, right? That's what it is. That's it. You that's, feel me? We, like, we, we gonna wrap this up. You feel me? But I wanna, uh, I wanna say, I'm hot as fuck. I'm sweating. You see me? <laughs> I mean, I'm shouting. You like hot? Cause I'm shouting. I'm I don't know which type of hot that is. I'm both hot. You see me? Oh, well. You see me? That's two type of hot. This is, this is a third. Let me stop. All right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Right. We out. Is to the streets. Press Miliana. Look forward to the clothing. Look forward to the robes. Look forward to the podcast. Look okay. forward to a lot of other different things. And we out, man. Peace. Salute.